All right, so we're on the side of the road in um, Apache Junction, Arizona. This is Rick Birch. He's just rode with us for 60 miles. Rick is in a band called Jimmy Eat World. I like, I like how I say that, in a band called Jimmy Eat World. <laughs> One of the great rock bands of our generation. Come on. Um, well, of my generation and your generation. We're in the same generation. So we can't argue right. with that. Okay, then there's no <laughs> argument. Um, so when we were planning this ride, um, Rick's managers um, said, hey, um, do you need an extra rider in Phoenix? And I was like, why? What do you mean? I thought maybe, I didn't know what they were going to do. And, and they said, well, you know, Rick from Jimmy World is a cyclist and he, uh, he'd like to join you. So then we talked on the phone and that was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. And here we are now. Here we are. Made it happen. So this is like two of my favorite topics, right? Like cancer advocacy and uh -huh. cycling and but well, three, rock and roll. And connecting all three of them is pretty uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice circle we've got going. Here. So when we rode with Lance Armstrong in Austin, what he and I talked about a bunch of the time we were on the bikes was music. And um, and now you and I are riding together and we're talking about cycling. Uh, you know? Yeah, that's funny. It's a, it is a total funny. opposite. Like, yeah. So like, I, I, enough I, about what I do. So do you take a bike on the road when you tour? Yeah, I try to take a bike. You know, it's really nice. Uh, you get to see part of the country where you are, you know, you're not stuck in the Smelly Rock Club. Not that Smelly Rock Club's too <laughs> bad, but you yeah. know, get to explore a little and uh, get the blood flowing. It's good good for the mind. And is anyone else in the band or crew into cycling? Uh, a couple of the crew guys, yeah, had bikes as well, so you yeah. know, take a little team out. Mm -hmm. It was mainly, uh, the goal was, okay, where's the coffee? Let's go get coffee. <laughs> it's funny because that's my goal every day too. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, you know, we right. saw we saw yesterday we saw a Starbucks in like an Albertsons, you know, where it's like, Al, and it's like Albertsons, Albertsons and, and then a little Starbucks and then like a bank thing and then it says right. ATM and I'm like, oh my god, let's go there. Yeah. But um, yeah, because yeah, you, you know, gotta get the coffee when you're out in like Apache Resort over there. There's nothing. <laughs> you're not getting any espresso, man. Right. Um, so how long have you been riding? Uh, about two and a half years. Cool. And what got you into it? Uh, the guys on the road, a couple of the guys uh, that we toured with, oh, okay. the guy, uh, RJ from San Francisco, Oakland, I should say, sorry, Oakland, <laughs> um, he cycles a lot, uh, that's his main transportation around town over there, and uh, just kind of turned me on to it. You got the addiction. I got it. I'm, it's hooked. It's an easy thing to get. It is. So, I wanted to ask you, you know, we talked a little bit about this on the phone, like when when um, when when John and Gabby or whoever whoever from your office called or emailed you about what we were doing and what the purpose was, you know, I can't imagine that it's like an easy thing to be like, you know, to, to kind of get into our slipstream here, so to speak, um, without checking yourself. Right? Okay, do I want to? Can, can, <laughs> can I get into that? Because this is a scary right. thing. Yeah. Guys like Adam and I, um, you know, it's a tough club we're in. So I, I wondered how, and you guys have done a lot of advocacy work with the band mm -hmm. and stuff with the troops and hospitals and things like that um, so how did it work when you and I came in contact with one another uh, I think what you're doing is awesome raising awareness important cause uh, it's a no-brainer you know? okay. I always just wonder that because you right. know it's like all these guys who are out here with us are I've known these guys for a long time right so it's, it's a different thing. You and I haven't known each other a long time, but no. when I met at the Promise Ring, we were like one degree apart. Yeah, it was always kind of like this, but never... But right. I never came out to any of the shows, which John never let me down about. Sure. Yeah, I'm a total jerk. Um, so the last question I have for you, and I thought about this when we were coming down that mountain pass. What's better? This is I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> What's better, playing in front of 30,000 people uh, who are going mental for your music or flying down a mountain pass on your bike? I have to say... Playing uh, in front of ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, that's a good answer. Since I don't, since I'm not in a band, I can only say flying down that mountain pass. But I must say that was awesome. Yeah, it was a total video game. It was, you know, rock formations yeah. coming through a canyon. It's like curving. You yeah. go, we came into a tunnel and you blast out, and the road just huge sweep. Yeah. Other than, other than awesome. the like 20 mile an hour crosswinds crosswind or whatever. <laughs> yeah, there was, and yeah, the, the paper boy was getting <laughs> papers thrown at him. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. We'll post this up soon.